good morning everybody um, my special thanks to the dignitaries from the ministry and um, from the academy thanks a lot i have always enjoyed the partnership between academy and industry um, we very closely partner with iit madras here and also with the new york university uh, the experiences have always been enriching right so we have learned a lot from the academy um, the choice of the topics that uh, Dr. Siddhanath earlier spoke about is very well in line with the next uh, uh, wave that is expected to happen within information technology as a space. Right? Um, IDC forecasts that uh, over the next five years, running up to 2025, there is going to be significant growth in uh, five areas, right? digital transformation as an umbrella. Within that, you have AI and data sciences. Internet of Things, Cloud, and Cybersecurity. I'm very happy to note that we have already covered uh, four out of five areas that have been identified for growth over the next five years. I'm very happy to partner with you in this journey for uh, enabling our uh, youth in, this, in, these, in these areas. Specifically looking at IoT, worldwide investments by both governments and enterprises are expected to run up to 1.3 trillion dollars over the next five years and that roughly translates to nearly 2 lakh crore dollars 140 lakh crore dollars over the uh, 140 lakh crore rupees over the next five years and this is at a rate of 15.6 percent of compounded annual growth of uh, you know increase and this translates to 80 billion devices so there is a lot of opportunity ahead of us as humanity and specifically for a country like India, which has a good demographic, uh, demographic dividend. Um, our youth is today standing, looking at the opportunities being offered in the areas of hardware, software, connectivity, all of which is required to enable this way. And if you look at the Indian government, Indian government actually took the initial leadership among a lot of other governments, right? By establishing the draft policy as early as 2015 right 2015 was when world was trying to grapple with what is going to be the impact of um, uh, uh, iot on the overall world economy considering that taking the initiative and creating the draft policy in 2015 for iot was a very significant step towards enabling all the stakeholders within within india Secondly, for, uh, in terms of improving the entrepreneurship, the NASCOM Center of Excellence for IoT offers a lot of opportunities for our youth to come and not just look for jobs, but also become entrepreneurs and try and create innovative solutions that helps both consumers and industries alike. Right? Um, in this program, over the next five days, we will spend some time in trying to understand what IoT has to offer. We will spend some time expelling some myths that have been created over the last few years surrounding IoT. We will help you strengthen your understanding. We'll also talk about a lot of use cases across different industries. What are the opportunities that are available worldwide and very near to us within India itself? What are the different opportunities that are available? What is the technology and architecture that supports this IoT wave? And we also spend like nearly five hours doing some hands-on exercises, right? We will try to build some simple circuitry. We will also try to um, write some programs to control these IoT devices. Um, we, during the afternoon session, I will share some details about some IoT toolkit that you could purchase at very cheap prices. And we can try, try our hands at it at the end of the week. Um, I, I saw the list of professors who are joining this program both from NIT Trichy and NIT Jalandhar. To all the participants, you are all in safe hands and exciting five days ahead of us. Good luck. Thank you.